Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, we're going to do a little overview on a Waves plugin called the H Delay. Uh, one of my favorites, actually. I use this all the time. Uh, but in this video, I'm just not going to go too in depth of it. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to open, <coughs> show you guys how to open it up. Show you guys how it works. Show you guys what kind of options it has in it. Basically, just do a little overview on it to get you guys a little bit more familiar with the plugin. Uh, just remember that uh, not every Waves bundle has this plugin. Uh, certain Waves uh, bundles only do so. For everybody who is wondering how to uh, how to open this inside Logic Pro, here's how to do it. We're going to go into Audio Effects, down to Audio Units, down to Waves. We're going to go up to H Delay right here. When you open it up, it's going to look a little something like this. Again, I use it all the time. Here's the delay. Uh, your modulation, the depth, the rate, your BPMs, your host, your MS, high pass, low pass. I don't really touch these, but uh, how much feedback you want, how dry and wet the delay is, uh, your output and your analog stick, and this will show you. This this will go up and down. Um, uh, I suggest you guys go in and try it out. The tempo automatically matches to the song. Well, sorry, uh, in Pro Tools it does, but not in Logic. Uh, we're gonna match it to the song. But yeah, I'm not gonna go into too. Let's not get out of hand here. Let's not go in, uh, too into it. Later on, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this onto a, on a track and how to get the best uh, results out of it. This is actually an awesome plug, and I really suggest you guys try it out and uh, try to get the best uh, effects that you can out of it. Uh, this is the overview of the H delay. Thank you guys for for watching, and please subscribe.